What's up, you guys? How you doing? Hi, everybody. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> say hi. <laughs> so, you guys, we are going to city center. Today is Sunday. We're going to take a walk. I don't know why we are dressed like this because the weather is actually hot. So, me, I'm looking, I think I'm going to buy a top at city center and just change because I can't wear this sweater and walking up and down in this heat. But we're going to the center, we're going to just walk around, buy one or two things, and then go back home. We are doing back to school shopping, and I've already done most of the shopping from Asda. But I think, what did I say I was going to buy from Emma, from City Center? Backpacks. Yeah, backpacks. Lunch bags. Lunch bags, backpacks. So I want to see if I will... No, I've bought water bottles for you guys. So I want to see if I can find a... Smiggles shop or a proper like back to school or children school books and stuff kind of store <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> anyway, I'm looking for a proper store where I can buy like a proper nice back backpack and um, this thing for the kids because the ones they sell in Azar just somehow they're either too colorful or they look too like a joke um, so yeah, that's what we're going to be up to today I'm going to carry you guys along as usual and yeah let's go you guys i need to make this my children's hair i'm so not looking forward to it like can't even lie i want this cup to pass over me <laughs> but i have to make their hair because school is starting soon and i want them to look really nice for school i've bought some hair accessories yeah i'm gonna put beads on their hair i'll show you guys when i make their hair are you done you go and look at how you pay Hey, Sophia, come and look at her. What are you doing with the rock? Sun now, right? I remember before we came to Norwich when we used to watch videos of City Center. Can you remember? At that time we used to walk around, we used to watch, watch videos with grandpa and grandma will not be looking to see if we see any black person <laughs> I think one I day some. after watching for a long time we now saw one black person we're not like yay see there's a black person <laughs> so you guys we are at MNF I just picked this dress because hubby gave me a gift card for MNF so pick this dress let's see what else to buy what they have upstairs I feel like there's something I'm always saying I wish I had I, I was going to buy I'm here, I can't remember. <laughs> but I feel like there's something. Let me see. See, Daddy. Daddy is looking for clothes for you guys. Yeah? No, you have enough necklaces. You have enough. And you guys don't even use them well. No, you don't. Oh my goodness. You and Shanshan's kids. Can we buy one? Hmm? Can we buy one? People want to. How yes, much? Please. 18 pounds. Why would I buy one skirt? Oh, yeah, which one do you want? Which one do you want? Sophia, is that the one you want? Yeah. Uh, take the one you want. Take No, Sophia, take five to six. Eva, take seven to eight. Um, where is five? Where is six? Eh? What? Let's go now. Show me. Oh, these dresses. You like them? I think it's 20, 32 pounds, so. even if I'm drunk. It's pretty, but nope, let's go. Well, it's this 5 to 6 I took for Sophia. I think it's too big, though. So, so come on, let me see that you're scared. Let me buy. Oh, 5 to 6. Is it your size? As per usual, am I really with these ones if we don't enter the bathroom? So it's still on that bakery. Then go to the side. Is it here? Um, it's cookies and muffins. Yeah, cookies and muffins. Plain kitchen chocolate, no? Go to the. We got double chocolate muffins. Yeah, and that's the only one. And then blue zone is last. So here's one. I don't like the Sophia's donuts, but whatever. We're still gonna taste it though. Samuel, blank, 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 blank. Samuel, blank, blank, blank. 
Now, now we get tight to the ridge. When? Today? No. Yeah, no ready for any worker. Come back, come back, come back. I'm not coming this life to so far. Eh, eh. I'll go and buy that motorized, motorized day. <laughs> <This day. laughs> Oh, I'll go and buy, I'll collect scooter. I don't get this, I don't get this guy energy, I beg. The funny thing is that if I wasn't with this kid, I don't mind doing it. When I'm with children, I just feel like I'm like, too many risks, too, the pace is different. Having three beautiful daughters with full natural hair with you know very thick full natural hair is all fun and dandy it's so nice it's all demure and cutesy until it is time to make their hair now today i have to make my kids hair because school is starting in a few days i need to make attachments for them we makes which makes it even worse or more stressful because i came to the uk with a lot of attachment like a lot like almost like three cartons or something so i don't even know what i was thinking because on a normal day i don't even do attachments for my kids like maybe once a year so it's not something i even do often so i don't know why i brought that amount i'm going to give it out or sell it or something sure eventually but yeah so um i want to make their hair with attachments i'm just going to make like box jumbo box braids nothing too serious I also got some beads. So I got some beads from Amazon. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to use beads for them. Because I feel like putting beads is a bit much. Especially for the older ones. For Sophia, I might put beads. But for the older ones, I feel like it's a bit much. So maybe I'll just curl the ends or something. Um, but yeah, so now I have to start picking attachments. Oh my god, I like i really don't have energy for this like it's so bad that it was even my husband that actually helps to loosen their hair yesterday because i was really really exhausted we've never done coral zone for sophia and eva zone i've washed their hair i have conditioned their hair so i'm just going to detangle their hair now moisturize it then they will now be chilling while i um, pick the attachment and then we can we can start the time now is almost 10 so i don't even know that i'm going to finish this thing today because i need to i want to detangle their hair very very well moisturize it very very well then leave them before i now go into the attachment and now come back and make their hair so it might take all day but you know sacrifice i have to make for my beautiful daughters since i got to the uk eva's hair has improved tremendously okay I've always known that the reason why Eva's hair was not doing so well was because other people were doing her hair. Because when I was making her hair by myself, right from when she was born, her hair was full, was luscious, was beautiful. But when I started leaving other people to make her hair, because she doesn't really cry or disturb or anything when they're making her hair. So I allowed every other person to make her hair while I focused on Cora and Sophia. I noticed that her hair was not doing so well. Her hair was cutting, her hair was looking, wasn't as full, wasn't as long, wasn't as dense as her sister's hair. So since we came to the UK, just eight months, so this eight months, yeah, I've been doing it myself and her hair has improved. Look at now, we can pack one ponytail and you know, it's, come, it's fluffy on top, right? But before we came here, I couldn't even pack her hair one. I used to just do it into two. Like I could if I stretched it, stretched it, coil it, as in, Stretching it, stretching it, and you know, smoothing, smoothing, and smoothing, and smoothing it very well before the hair would be able to pack once. But this one, effortlessly, after I washed her hair, I just packed it once, and that's the result. So, me, yeah, I know these things, though. I know these things, but I mean, I can't, I can't kill myself. I have to, I have to do other things with my life. <laughs> but here, where I don't have a choice, it's not like I don't have a choice. I have a choice. Okay, I can actually get people to make her hair. But for me, it's not worth it again because it's not like I can get a team of people to come and make her hair. It's still going to be one person. It's still going to take time. I still have to do some things by myself. So I might as well just do everything by myself. Okay? Mm. So your hair is so dry. Even Sophia's hair is improving from the roots. Okay, so the ends of her hair are not as full as they used to be. But the roots are getting very full. Meaning that 
she's her hair is growing and you know i'll just have to try and retain the new length like the new hair growing till it gets long and then everything will be full so but i have high hopes for her even though her hair is already full like, like this so don't be deceived by this thing i did here i just tried to pack it like this so that it's not dry out but her hair is actually full and actually long <laughs> what's my favorite watch Lots of kids and family. Which one can we watch? There's no purple thing. Not minions and not definitely not Lady Gaga. And sure. definitely not Harry Potter. Definitely not Sonic. Definitely not Annie. Definitely not Lady Gaga. Definitely not Leo. Definitely, definitely, like, definitely not Avatar. Like we need to rest for Avatar. And definitely not SpongeBob. Okay, let's keep going down. Let's and see. definitely not that. Yes, yeah, and no not Coco no Coco Melon, no Ben and Holly's, no Ninjago, no Ninjago. No, we can be heroes. <laughs> We've seen it. No hotel transvenue. I don't even like that. Uh, nope, 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 no pardon thing, no daddy day. Well, I think I've seen daddy day here. I've seen some parts of it. I've seen um, when no they in the children. Let's watch it now. So I add aloe vera to their spray water. I, I usually add aloe vera and glycerin. I don't know if this TV will allow them hear what I'm saying. Can't make so loud. You guys, if I had a salon, eh? Hmm. The way I also lose money because the time is currently past 12. I'm still detangling one person's hair. I'm not even I've not even done the attachment, I've not even done, I'm just still detangling because me, I take my time to detangle. So I'm still detangling one person's hair. And this girl's hair, eh? As much as I said the hair is not as full as it's supposed to be, like the roots are fuller, but it's still full, it's still a lot of hair to deal with. So and I'm taking my time because I really want when I want to make the hair, I will not be struggling with any knots or anything. I just want to make the hair straight. So basically, I'm putting leave in conditioner and then yeah, this is how i want the hair to be so i'll be able to just comb it straight are you seeing that yeah so basically i use leave in conditioner and spray bottle with water then when i'm done making sure all the knots are gone i'll take i'll take some shea butter and then moisturize it now the reason why I'm doing all of this now and leaving it to, to settle is that I don't know if she has low, por low porosity or is the product, but the product seems to be sitting on her hair, not, they're not, it, it seems to just be sitting on her hair, even though the weather is kind of cold, but still I'm like, what's happening here? I need to get new, new hair products, yeah, because these are the ones I got from Nigeria and I'm like, mm. Am I really sure it works here in the UK? I've I've changed some things though, but still, like the living conditioner, the Oreo and stuff, I got it from Nigeria. But I think I need to just get some products, maybe like some like proper proper living conditioner. Which one is the best brand in the UK? Let me know. If you're in the UK and you are a natural hair enthusiast, or you're someone who likes natural hair, or you know how to treat natural hair. Please let me know the brand of products that you buy in the UK. I'm not looking for mix mix. I just want normal regular products that they sell in boots or something. Like I really don't care. I buy, I bought Share Moisture, um, for their shampoo and sh it's a shampoo, <laughs> for the shampoo and conditioner. I bought Share, I bought Share Moisture, um, the detangler is cancel detangler, um, but I need like a proper good leave-in conditioner and a proper good, um moisturizer or sealant or whatever um i know Ori works though but <laughs> yeah for hair oil i use miel hair oil maybe i should look for miel living conditioner it's just that some of these brands in when i when i hear that they've been bought by bigger corporations i'm like yeah are they really now are they really going to be that effective i'm sure they're not just full of all these yeah, chemicals that are not really fantastic for uh, natural hair so that's what i don't know but then again like i always say as much as i don't trust the bigger brands i think i don't even trust the smaller brands even more because people can cut corners and do all sorts in the name of 
trying to get their name out there so i don't just know who to trust at this point all i know is that just tell me what works for you i'll try i, I don't even mind buying like five different products and just trying until i find the one i really Daddy, like yeah i think this is strange still yeah she paused it. but anyway i'm almost done i'm on sophia's front hand now um i use all kinds of comb to the tang- combs to the tango but i mostly use this one and this one white tooth comb um and i don't pull at their hair that's why it takes me a long time to just use the tango one person hair. coral's hair is the worst what makes coral's hair even more bearable is that coral's hair is short if coral's hair was as long as this or even but if coral's hair is green sure. But if Coral's hair was as long as it used to be, <laughs> maybe me and her will be crying. <laughs> yeah, what's funny? It's okay, what's funny? Can you share? Share. Sh- share what's funny. Sharing is scary. Yeah, sharing is scary, but can you share what is funny with us? Yeah. Okay, what's funny? Is pants. <laughs> I said don't wear pants in my video. That's funny. Yeah. Okay. Ha! <sighs> Tineke mo. <laughs> What's funny, Sophia? I said Tineke. Okay, God. Okay, Eva. Thank you. Got some more views. Oh chi chi, oh chi chi, yama. Your hair is still moisturized though. You you have good um is it text is it texture I'll call it? Her hair doesn't get dry easily. Oh actually it does. Or is it because she wore her cap throughout? No, I don't wear my cap throughout. Mm. When I woke up it fell off. But your hair is still moisturized. It's even packed the way I kept it. Since your hair is not dry, right? You will go and sit down. Let me just finish Sophia's hair because Sophia's hair dries easily and I don't want it to get too dry when I want to make it. So let me just do the attachment and then I'll do Sophia's hair. But I'm hungry. Direct me. Direct your own to me, Eva. hi guys so school is starting tomorrow for the kids um a bit i'm having a bit of mixed feelings concerning the fact that school is starting tomorrow because on one hand i can't wait to just drop my kids in school and just rest by the way sophia is starting school as well so she's going to be she's going to be going to school three th- three days a week but i want to see if i can increase i don't know why i didn't i didn't increase it when they first offered us the slots i feel like i'm all over the place anyway when they offered us slots for sophia's school i should have just chosen five days a week i was looking at the money but now that i'm considering some things i'm like i should have just not considered the money we should just paid for her to go to school five days a week because three days a week she has 15 hours free then we're going to pay like i think three hours extra because she's taking like 18 hours so it's supposed to be like three hours extra, right? But if I had known, I'd have just added the extra two days and we'll just pay it and just forget about it, okay? Because when you're when you're looking at the money and calculating it, that's why you will now not want to pay. But considering that I work from I guess I'm making noise. But considering that I work from home and I need my space to make money, I should have just taken the five days. But anyway, I'm grateful, I'm happy that at least she has gotten three days. So, but I've asked them now to let me know if there are other slots so I can just add extra days. Even if it's one extra day, maybe it's four days a week, I don't mind, okay? Even though technically it's not really a problem now staying at home with Sophia. I think she has gotten into the rhythm of staying at home, so it's not really a problem, but I wish I had just done it that way. So, I have mixed feelings. On one hand, I'm happy 
I'm like, oh, I can't wait to drop them in school and just come back and face my work because my work has been scattered, you guys. I have not been doing my work well and I'm not really happy about it. So many other factors, though. It's not really because my kids are at home. There's so many other factors, but I just feel like if I get back into my regular routine, then I will be, you know, more productive. Um, so that's on, that's on one hand, right? On the other hand, I'm like... I remember complaining about school runs. <laughs> I remember complaining that I'm tired of school runs, right? So I know that in a week or two, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to be over the whole thing, right? In a week or two, I'm going to be over waking up early to get them ready for school. I know that for a fact. So that's why I'm saying I have mixed feelings. But I'm mostly happy the kids said they don't tire, they don't play, they don't tire. Like this, this holiday, I engaged them very well. Like. Nobody can accuse me of neglecting my kids because, hey, I mean, it's not like anybody's accusing me, but I'm just saying, the amount of time and attention I gave my kids this holiday, even if I ignore them till Christmas, eh, it balances out because it's been a lot. But anyway, so, you guys, I have my battle. This, the time is already, I think, 8 o'clock. It's a bit bright, but it's already like 8 o'clock or at least past 7, right? So, I had my bath and I wanted to go and lie down because I just finished making... Cora's hair. You guys, I've been making hair for the past six days. Okay, like story, story, fast story for now. I've been making hair for the past six days. I washed their hair on one day. Well, I washed Sophia and Eva's hair on one day. So I washed, I conditioned. I mind you, when I condition their hair, it's like double washing because I had to wash their hair. I'll wash their hair, but I, they won't have their bath. I'll still clean their body. They'll wear their old clothes as the clothes they wore before they wash their hair. They'll wear it. I'll condition their hair. They'll play around. Then I'll now rinse off the conditioner. Then now wash their body. Then, you know, get new towel and new outfits for them, right? So I did Sophia and Eva first. Then I now made Sophia's hair one day. Made Eva's hair the next day. Then did Cora's own washing. Then made her hair today. So that's six or five days. Anyway, it's been a lot. But I'm finally done with their hair. I, I did braids for them, even though in front I did a little bit of weaving. Why I like putting weaving in front of my kids' hair, even if it's small, is I want the, I want the hair to be out of their face. Because once hair is on my kids' face, they will play with it, they will do anyhow with it, they will lose it, they will start doing anyhow, and then the hair will become rough quickly. But aside from that, I don't even want them to have like hair in their face when they are reading or they are you know, running up and down in school and stuff like that. That's why I always put that weaving. Anyway, basically, I'm done with my kids' hair. So... After I finished Cora's hair, I went to have my bath, um, you know, got ready for to go and lie down because my husband even arranged the room, changed the bed sheet. So, you know when you're envisioning just lie down on clean new bed sheet, <laughs> just to relax and just have fun and maybe just sit or something. And I remember that I haven't washed all my kids, um, what they call it now, lunch box, everything I bought for them for school, um, water bottles and stuff. My husband has taken care of their uniforms, I hope, I think. Yes, he has washed them, he has ironed them, he has hung them. So on the uniform front, they are good. On the hair front, they are good. Only for me to now realize that all their lunch boxes and stuff, I haven't washed them. So anyway, let me show you guys what I bought for them. I bought them on Amazon. As much as they give them food in school, at least in Ava and Sophia's school, Ava and Cora's school, they give them lunch. For Ava, it's free, but for Cora, we pay, right? So as much as that is available, I'm not really comfortable with what they give them in school. The day I went for food tasting in Ava's school, I keep saying this. I was like, why have I been, why have I been forcing my child to eat this, right? What is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, for, <laughs> Sophia, that's what you're doing, making me laugh. <laughs> so, from the day I tasted the food they give them, I was like, why have I been forcing my child to eat this? I don't even understand what it is like, right? And I know they give them the same, almost the same thing in current Eva school. But part of the reason why I even decided to give them home packed lunch is because... Is that English? Enter. Anyway. Because um, Sophia is starting school and she's going to be going to school three times a, a week, I'm going to be packing lunch for her. So I might as well pack lunch for the other kids. So that is why I had to buy all these things. So I bought this lunch, um, what do they call it now? What do they call this thing? Plates, food flask. Oh, what do they call it? I bought this one for Cora 
I bought it from Amazon. I think I'll leave a link to it in the description box in case. So it comes with a spoon that you can fold, which is quite nice, even though I know that we misplaced this spoon. I'll still end up putting spoon for them. I'm going to be putting things like rice, beans. I don't know. You guys should let me know in the comment section. We don't laugh at my children. I'm going to teach them not to feel shy, but I want to be aware if it's going to be something that will cause them to be ashamed. I'm going to put rice, I'm going to put beans, I'm going to put potato, I'm going to put... The only thing I will not put is eba, because every other thing we eat, I'm going to be putting it for them, because, I mean, it's our food, okay? I can't be doing that sandwich shit. <laughs> every day sandwich. Every day. Chips. And Nah, I can't do that, okay? So, um, I think this is Eva zone. This is either Eva or Sophia. The brand is called Milo or Milo. Milo. So I need to wash all these. I'll use warm water. So it comes with different hands. Like if you want to change this, you can change this thing. Even though I really don't care. I'll leave one that is there. So my audio actually went off and I did not notice. So let me just tell you guys what I was showing you guys here. I bought these um, water bottles for my kids. The reason why I love it is that it doesn't have... Um, straw so i've been trying to run away from straws because i've had bad experiences with straws so i like to go for water bottles that don't use straws so i got these ones from amazon as well um it has a very good lock it's waterproof i don't like the fact that it's plastic though i'm trying to run away from plastics as well but yeah it's what is it it is what it is then this is another plastic so many plastics this one is for storing fruits. I want to be giving my kids fruits to school. Because if you give them home packed lunch, you have to give them, not like you have to, but you know, if you're giving them home packed lunch, you also provide them with fruits and stuff. So I bought these containers from Amazon. I bought 16 of them because I want to be meal prepping on Sundays. So five, five for each child. Um, so I just meal prep their fruits and keep and then any day they are going to school they just take one so the reason why i decided to do this is that first of all the fruits i give them for school they are not fruits that spoil easily and it's going to be in the fridge anyway but they're not fruits that spoil easily so they take oranges they take um grapes they take apples they take uh, pineapple sometimes watermelon watermelon is a bit tricky but you know yeah, they take those. They take those things. I also add lemon sometimes, just to help it not to turn brown or not to spoil easily. But normally, it holds up in the fridge. Um, they like banana as well, but I can't give them banana to school because bananas get squashed easily. So they would eat their banana at home when they come back. But yeah, that's why I bought these things for. I made it match the uh, lunch box, lunch plate somehow. But that's it. Hey, first day of school. Are you guys excited? Yeah! Why not your first day? Yeah? It's, so, it's going to be Sophia's first day tomorrow. No, Sophia's first day is on Monday. Oh. Yeah. But tomorrow yeah, she's Monday. just going for a small play Plan. time. But I don't know whether that, that play time seems like it's a clash with our uh, pick up time. <laughs> but are you ready? Yeah! Are you happy? Yeah! All right, so let us go. There's rainbow on my shoe inside. Oh, yeah, there yeah. is. If I remove my shoe, then you will see. But yeah, new, sh new shoes, new everything. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Except for new bags, we don't have new bags. And not new ones. Why do you need new bags? Mommy, not Mommy, new cats. It has sparkle, sparkle shoes. Yeah, let's go. Let's go and drop your sisters.
this one. And this one. So guys, <laughs> you guys, I actually have a lot of work to do. I need to put all their plates and stuff, like everything is washed though. I don't know, you guys cannot see it in the background. Everything is washed, but I need to just put everything away and then clean the kitchen and then go about my day. But I've spent like one hour dancing here, which I actually like because I have sweated. Even though I had my bath this morning, I'll still have my bath. I'll have to have my bath again. But yeah, my kids are in school. I'm happy. Sophia is at home, but she's cool where she is. So let me just go and do some of my work. And that's it. How are you guys doing? Are your kids back to school? And if they're not back to school, when are they going back to school? Are you looking forward to it? Or are you in between like me? Or are you very happy that they're going back to school? Let me know in the comment section. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye. I'm so excited today. I don't know why. I know why actually. Because God is good. All the time, God is good to me. Me in particular. He likes this girl in particular. <laughs>